The exposure really here is not what I would have liked. So I'm just going to drag this corner, bottom right corner in and I'm going to sort of follow a standard rule here and put this one third line here on the horizon and I'm going to just click on the right and drag to the left and I'm going to hold down the shift key at the same time which makes it stick to horizontals and verticals. just paint across the middle. Now that's quite a strong edit. I'm not going to fret too much about that yet. Um, so the way I'm going to jump this now into Photoshop is I'm going to um, right click in my film strip here and choose edit in Adobe Photoshop CS5. Click that. Okay so here's our image now loaded in Photoshop. So that's our spot removal done. Um, the next thing I want to do is this this orangey glow that I've got on the horizon here I think could be uh, a little stronger so I'm going to uh, boost that by creating a new curves layer. So I'm hitting the new adjustment layer button and choosing curves and then I'm going to use the red channel to add a little bit more red. You can see this at the moment is editing the whole image and ultimately I'm not going to want to do that but I'm not worried about it just for now. I press the zero key on the keyboard to push my opacity up to 100 and I'm just going to click in the middle there and just draw a little left and right. And what I'm about to show you is a way of doing uh, a filter, um, in this case a lens flare filter, without rendering it onto your actual image. 